So welcome back to the channel. We are still here in Vietnam. And oh, that actually looks kind of cool with the painting behind us. That's actually what the National Park looks like out the window, which it looks like a black wall, but it's just because it's so dark. The city is asleep <laughs> as it is midnight here in Vietnam, in Northern Vietnam, but it's been uh, nice here. We've been here about uh, almost 10 days now. And it has been really, really nice. The staff here at the hotel has been absolutely fantastic. Um, it has been really cool. Yeah, yeah. we've really it's enjoyed really it. Nice. It's, it's been kind of good to slow down and just relax and take, <laughs> take, the, take the time in here and have a good time. Just want to say uh, hello to everybody as you're getting in the chat. Happy to have you here. We're gonna answer your questions that were put in the pre-chat here, but if you have more questions, go ahead and drop them in the chat when you think of them, and we'll be happy to answer those as we go along. Uh, but it's great to be back with all of you again. It's been a week, and lots happened for us. We booked a lot more hotels, <laughs> which is what we're gonna be talking about today, what we ended up booking and, and why, and going over all the, the points and which ones ended up being the best because we booked hotels for basically every major mm -hmm, hotel chain mm -hmm. yeah we're in a we're actually always like in a constant flow of booking housing and trains and planes and cruises and all that kind of stuff so <laughs> <laughs> always looking ahead <laughs> yeah uh yeah kevin the temperature has gotten warmer here. i think it's in the 80s now mm -hmm. it was like a just a, a real cold snap last week where it was in the 50s so everyone was walking around freezing. Uh, yeah, it was really kind of funny because Rob's walking around in just like a t-shirt like this. And yeah. I, I've had my either cardigan or my little zip-up jacket that I bought in Bangkok on because I get I get cold. So I was very cold when we got here. And a couple people at the hotel were like, do you need a jacket? Are you cold? <laughs> like they were concerned that he might be cold. I was like, oh no, where he's from... This is not cold. <laughs> yes. And the Esperanto girl, thank you. Our run is over. If you've been following these chats, the lions. Mm. I, don't, I don't know that we're still ready to talk about it yet, but. Uh, He's not there. I'll acknowledge that it happened. The saving thing is that we did get the Michigan win this year. So that's what we can be happy about. So thank you. I appreciate your, your words of support though. And yes, Gwen, uh, I know you are an Ann Arbor fan, uh, from Ann Arbor. Uh, Gwen saying that, she, this is funny because we read this in the pre-chat and Gwen was saying oh. that she joined, our daughter has a, a book YouTube channel uh, about reading and books and she does a lot of book reviews on there. And Gwen went over and checked it out. And the link to that channel is in the description, by the way, if you want to check it out. But she was saying that our daughter looks exactly like Allie. And so for years, for like 15 years, everybody has said that to us, that they look exactly alike. And we do not see it at all. We don't see it. So, um, we just, we were actually just talking when we saw your comment in the pre chat. Yeah. We were like, I wonder if our son sees it. I'm gonna have to ask him tomorrow if he if he thinks that his sister and I look alike. But I think he's gonna say no. Yeah, I don't, don't think you? he will see yeah. it. None of us in our family we see it. We don't see it. But just go, our immediate family. Go to her does channel. Not see it. Yeah, go to her channel and tell us if you think they look alike because everyone outside of our family thinks they they look even our parents our both parents sets do. of our parents think like my parents think she looks like me when i was that age and the same thing with your parents they think they've always thought that we looked alike but we don't see it we don't see it <laughs> so, so yeah go check her channel out you could see her hear her and then let us know next week <laughs> if you think that we look alike. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth has a question here about what is the best hotel or rewards program for traveling mm. in the USA? Good uh, question, welcome, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Yeah, we, we booked a lot of hotels in the USA this week. And boy, are they expensive. So <laughs> I think the one that is not the, the easy one to cross off, which a lot of people are going to disagree with, but the easy one to cross off is Hilton. We cannot find much... Hilton that's that's uh, 
cheap. Yeah the, yeah, the redemptions don't make any sense at all as far as Hilton is concerned. Yeah, uh, I think the, the one that we ended up, the two that we booked the most in the U.S. are Marriott and IHG. And IHGs have generally been cheaper like in second, not second class cities, but second priced cities. So like not Los Angeles, New York, and things like that. Like, uh, you know, if you're going to something like uh, Miami or, you know, St. Louis, Kansas City, IHGs tend to come in there. Now in, in New York City, uh, that is where we used all of our Marriott stuff because uh, that's what's gonna save you in New York City is those Marriott certificates that you get from their credit card because there's nothing under like 50,000 points a night. So we booked five nights there with free certificates that we had and otherwise it would have just been astronomical. <laughs> so those saved us like $400 a night, I think is what they were going for. Yeah, it's crazy. And we yeah. did the same thing in Tokyo. So I would say IHG and Marriott and then probably after that Hyatt, but the Hyatts, there's just not enough of them mm -hmm. to, to be everywhere you want to be. Yeah. So, uh, and then Brian and Girl's asking, I know you don't travel in Canada a lot, but are there a lot of any rewards programs in Canada that you are a part of? So we're basically part of the same program. You can get, uh, if you're Canadian, you can be in the, the Marriott, the IHG, the Hyatt, the Hilton. You just can't get their credit cards for the most part. So we typically stay still at those, right? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. um, we have found the Hiltons to be better in Canada. Mm -hmm. We end up staying at Hilton in Canada quite a bit. Uh, we stayed at the Doubletree, Toronto. We did, yeah. And then that at was the Hilton in Vancouver, one. yeah. Yeah, yeah, we did, Yeah, actually. <laughs> and those were pretty good. They, yeah, they those acknowledged worked out their really status good. right mm -hmm. away. Yeah. yeah, actually, they let us check in super early in Vancouver in that Hilton um, because of my diamond status. They let us check in at 7.30 a.m. <laughs> on the day of our booking. 7.30 a.m., that's, like, insane. But it was really nice because... Uh, we do have the American Express Hilton, um, and so that did pay off in that instance because they give you diamond status with that card, so it's really nice. They do. Uh, well, it's Joyce's birthday, so happy birthday, Joyce. Oh, happy Joyce. birthday, Joyce. From Carlsbad, <laughs> California. Ooh. Not too far from our daughter. Not too bad. Hopefully you're not mm -hmm. getting uh, yeah, all rainy. that crummy weather Is that we rainy? heard about. Uh, Hopefully right. you're getting a beautiful weathered birthday. <laughs> Let's see. Carolyn's asking how the food is probably amazing here. How's the public transportation? There's not a lot of public transportation where we are. We've just been walking places because we're in a pretty small city. I mean, there's buses, but there's no um, no metro system in this town that we're in. So, mm -hmm. But the food? Wow. The food is amazing. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yeah. I mean, we're having, you know, pho for breakfast and um, the wrap, the, you know, vegetable and um, meat wraps uh, with the noodles. Had some of those tonight. Um, the, the uh, what do you call those? The, they're gyozas in Japan. They call them something else here. What are dumplings? Um, all kinds of stuff. We've had so much, so much good food here. It's unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Believe, uh, I think that's how you say it, it says they're going to retire in four years so trying to mm. bank points. That uh, is a good idea. Bank all your points up yes. and then you can, you can save them. We're actually doing that with Hyatt points right now. We're trying to bank them mm -hmm. because, uh, we, we just got another card because we, we were booking a bunch <laughs> of stuff and we were actually booking the uh, the Via Rail train in Canada uh, to go the Canadian train. And when we were booking that, we could not get a card to go through because we were here. And sometimes your cards just don't work and it takes like three, four different cards to get one to actually go through because you're booking <laughs> something in Canada from Vietnam with an American card. They just, sometimes they just don't work. And so... Uh, Anyway, it took three, four cards to get it to work. So I thought, let's get another one. Let's, we, we got, ended up getting a business card mm -hmm. just to have another type of card. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. sometimes, like, if you have a different type of card, it'll work. Uh, but anyway, the, the, uh, the Chase Business Inc. card that we got comes with 100,000 uh, Chase points, which you can transfer to highest. So we are banking those points, like you say. 
and we're gonna use them in Europe next year because there's some definitely some hotels in Europe you can get for 3,500 points a night. <laughs> so that's gonna add up to 28 free nights in Europe with that uh, yeah. Chase Hyatt card. Yeah. Yeah. No. Chase, it's a Chase card, but we're gonna use the points at Hyatt. On Hyatt, right. <laughs> Transfer them. <laughs> Transfer them. Yeah, sorry. Uh, let's see. Gwen's asking, is Marriott and Shelton combined the rewards now? I don't know what Shelton is. Do you know what Shelton is? Shelton? Sheraton, maybe? Sheraton. Yeah, Sheraton. Sheraton. I bet you that. Uh, I bet you that that's that, meant yeah, to say Sheraton. Yeah, they have. Yeah. And Weston, too. Yes. If you look it up in the app, they'll all be mm -hmm. It'll together. be in there already. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. Uh, another Michigander. <laughs> <laughs> Shizar. My husband was born in Michigan. Uh, let's see. I'm loyal to Hilton. Finding it hard to find in foreign countries. So mm. this is informative. Thank you. Yeah, it's very yeah. hard to find. Yeah, we were actually very surprised because we thought we would see a lot and use it a lot, which is why we got the Amex Hilton uh, Aspire card. But it uh, turns out it's not going to be that useful for us abroad. Yeah, we're probably... Or really even that much in the U.S. We are likely to get rid of the Hilton Aspire card because... I'm going to give you the breakdown of how many of each hotel we booked, and Hilton is going to come in last. <laughs> uh, let's see. Corey wants to know, uh, did you go live on our other channel? We did not go live on Ground and Life Travel today. We had to kind of back it down a little bit because we were staying up too late, and we were re we've been really tired uh, the last few weeks because it is uh, it's a little after midnight here. So yeah. we decided just to do one today. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Looking for, I'm a senior and I'm looking for a credit card that I could use for travel. Mm -hmm. Okay, good question. First thing you want to do, whatever you do, make sure your credit card has no foreign transaction fees. That's the most important thing. Uh, most of the ones, that, all the ones that we use do not. So the ones we have linked in the description are probably the the best for that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Including that uh, Business Inc. card too. Including the Business yeah. Inc. You do... That one's a little bit um, a little bit higher spend to get the bonus. But find one that has a good bonus that you want and one that is going to accrue points that you're going to want to use. So if you think you're going to stay at IHGs, the IHG, the Marriott, or either of the two Chase ones, you can transfer those. But really, you're going to almost always want to transfer those to Hyatt. So we mm -hmm. kind of consider those to be like Hyatt cards mm -hmm. uh, yeah. almost. Yeah, because the transfer is always real easy too. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see. We've got, uh, do any of the card free nights expire from Brian? Example, the Marriott Bonvoy mm -hmm. bonus night offer. They do expire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In fact, we almost lost our Hilton night <laughs> because it was expiring. It's expired in May. And we were like, wow, we're in, you know, Vietnam. I don't really know any Hiltons. And then there's a... <laughs> Hilton in Japan, we're going to get there a week before it expires. So it should tell you on the award, right? You were Yes, it does. It. it tells you on the reward certificate. When you click on it, it'll give you uh, the date of when it expires. The, uh, the only thing I didn't like, too, is that uh, also you have to call in. You yeah. can't just book it. Like on Marriott, you can just book the reward certificates, but you can't do that with Hilton. You have to call them for some reason, which is kind of silly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Believe is asking pro tips for earning chase points. So I do have a couple good mm, tips for that. Good question. I was just noticed how excited he got. Yeah, I got excited. <laughs> I was just proof for the Chase Sapphire Reserve. That's the one we have. Mm, yeah, that's a good one. And the the big thing with that is you get three points per dollar spent on travel and dining with the Chase Sapphire Reserve. So, like if we're booking an Airbnb or something, we put it on there. So if we do, you know. $1,500 Airbnb, which is kind of common for us, that's 4,500 points. And then anytime we go out to eat, we use uh, Chase Sapphire Reserve. So that's more points. Uh, so yeah, Kevin, today it's a new show, Travel and Finance. <laughs> uh, that's good. All in one. We're, we're trying to catch up on our sleep. Uh, Let's see. Valerie's asking, can you combine your points with your AARP uh, membership? I don't know. We, we're we not members of AARP yet. Yeah, we were talking about it. 
We were, we were trying to qualify, yeah. obviously. We were trying um, to buy the Canadian AARP. Yeah, that's what it <laughs> was. We were, <laughs> we were trying to get the Canadian AARP because we were trying to use that discount. Was it for the train? Train, yeah. yeah. for the Via Rail, for the Canadian train. Yeah. <laughs> uh, have a good day, Joyce. Thanks for watching. Uh, let's see. Foodie's asking, I made it. I don't understand about transferring from Chase. I have points galore on Chase cards. Oh, that's mm. awesome. Okay, so the deal is for your chase points, you can either use them in the chase portal or you can transfer them to a partner, either an airline or a hotel. Now, if you're gonna transfer them to a hotel, which is what most people do with chase points, really the only one you wanna do is Hyatt because Hyatt points are way more valuable than any other hotel point because you can get Hyatts for way less points. So like. You can get a, a free night in a Hyatt in Europe for 3,500 points. So if you have 100,000 chase points, you can get 28 free nights in a Hyatt with that. Uh, so that's what you wanna do. You can either call them and do it or you can do it right in the app if you have a Hyatt uh, account too. But that's basically yeah. the best and you use. Could, yeah, you can see that's the best way to use it. But if you have other loyalty programs that you want to transfer it to, you can actually do it right through the app. And for us, when we transferred them from Hyatt, it was pretty much instant. It just showed right up. Um, so you, you can go in and then it'll show you like the transfer. When you go to under the, I think it's the rewards tab, and then from there, I think if you scroll, if you're in the app, this is if you're in the app, um, scroll down kind of like in the middle, I think it says something about, you know, uh, partner programs or something like that. And then once you click in there, you can see where you can um, transfer them, like who you can transfer them to. Yeah, but transfer them to Hyatt. Yes. Uh, the other place we've transferred some chase points is uh, Air Canada. And we got some business class tickets with those. So uh, let's see. Yeah, the Aeroplan is such a great uh, program for flights. So actually Canadians, you can get the, the Amex Aeroplan uh, Air Canada card and you can earn points that way because theirs is the best as far as uh, getting really great uh, reward uh, flights on there. So that one we did gosh we booked like four business flights on there mm -hmm. uh, in and around asia and got some really great redemptions yeah uh let's see memphis tennessee living uh you know we used to live in tennessee but not in memphis not in memphis <laughs> but we did used to live in tennessee. both of our kids were born in tennessee mm -hmm. so that is a <laughs> I don't know if it's a fun fact, but it's a fact. <laughs> fun fact. We actually got uh, married there, too. We were married in Tennessee, too. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so, yeah, Tennessee. Here, let's see what the question was, though. I got real sidetracked. Got super distracted. What is your opinion on Choice Hotel Rewards program? We are in that program, but we don't end up using it much. I think it's a good program, and there's definitely some uses for it. But we part of the reason we don't use it is because you can only get status on so many programs mm -hmm. and that's not one that we have status on so <laughs> yeah uh let's see is there a maximum number of free point nights you can use in a row with any of the hotels i don't think so i mean yeah. we booked uh we, we've done we've got five booked is that right in a row in, at in Marriott, Marriott. Mm -hmm. yeah, but in we, Tokyo. But just with points, we've got yeah. like 23 booked in a row in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So With uh, points, yeah. yeah. So. They, they didn't if, stop us. If you've got the points, <laughs> you can do them. Uh, and it, and the, they should let you do it. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> right, let's see. Oh, Brenna Girl hates flying Air Canada. Uh, oh. <laughs> we've never flown on them. But see, you can put your points in Air Canada and then you buy flights on other airlines so mm -hmm. yeah so it doesn't have to be just because you yeah. use the aeroplan program their rewards program is really good even if you don't fly air canada you could still tr uh use it to to their uh their program uh with all the airlines that they have partnerships with is really fantastic they have so many airlines so you don't even have to fly air canada at all we've never actually i don't think we've ever flown air canada have we no um no. So, uh, so there's that. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to fly them. And what's funny is when we were in Edmonton last year, the 
our daughter was flying from Edmonton to Los Angeles. What was that airline she was on? It was a Canadian one. Oh, I can't remember. It was it was one of the budget ones. It was a budget airline out of Edmonton, mm, and uh, I cannot remember. She was flying home to LAX. <laughs> we bought her the ticket, and then the night before we were checking her in, and they were like. Oh, this doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> like, they canceled the flight and no didn't flight. tell us. They didn't tell us. <laughs> but we tried to check her in. <laughs> so we had to book her on something else, like last, last, last minute. Yeah. I can't remember the name of that airline, though. I can't Ask either. her. She would know. Darn. She, I bet you she would remember her She for will sure. know. <laughs> uh, yeah. So let me, uh, let me... Let me get to our little spreadsheet here. Oh, of, yeah. We've booked, I wanted, this is kind of a, a good synopsis of what we've done because we do have status at all four of these. We're going to talk about IHG, Hyatt, Marriott, and Hilton. And so we have booked a hundred and almost 150 nights for this year. <laughs> and that is in Asia, in Europe, in the United States, and. Canada. Uh, Canada. <laughs> so it's a pretty good cross section. And because we have status on all those programs, we didn't just book something for status. We booked whatever the best deal was, whatever the best deal we could find. And this is how it broke down. So of those 150 ish nights, 99 of them were IHG. <laughs> so IHG routinely came out as the cheapest place to get them. Uh, 43 were Hyatt. 25 were, 25 were Marriott, 7 were Hilton, and 7 were just in independent hotels because we couldn't find anything else in that area. Mm. So that's kind of how it broke down. That's why we're basically going to drop Hilton because out of 150 nights, Hilton was only the best option, uh, 7 of those. And honestly, all seven of them were because we had points and we were just trying to get rid of them. They were honestly <laughs> never the best option. Yeah. Uh, but we had enough points to get seven free Hilton nights. So we're like, we're not going to lose them. Yeah, plus the reward, the free one-night certificate was going to expire, yeah. So honestly, out of 150 nights, Hilton was never the best price. <laughs> Zero times. In four different continents, Hilton, to us, is the worst program. Uh, Marriott is... Pretty good. I think Marriott would have been a lot higher depending on where you're going. Like if you're going to Bali or any other, Indonesia, Cambodia, there's some great redemptions in Norway. We would have easily booked 30 more nights there, mm -hmm. right? Because yeah. there's some great hotels there. Yeah. And, and we did last year. Yeah, we did. Yeah, use those. And Marriott is also the best in the big cities. We booked all of our nights in New York City and all of our nights in Tokyo at Marriott's because mm. for some reason that's a good one. So Marriott's either like good for long cheap stays or expensive big city stays. <laughs> it seems like uh, Hyatt, we got 43 nights. Now most of those are in Japan. So it's kind of odd, not a ton of them in other places. And then IHG was the champion 99 <laughs> nights. They're consistently the cheapest because uh, if you have the IHG credit card, you get that fourth night free and they let you buy the points, which if you do the points and the fourth night free, you're saving so much money off the cash rate. And uh, we do have a couple of videos. I, I linked them in the description because I knew we were going to talk about them. If you want to see about how to best use IHG mm -hmm. points, the credit card, the points, we have uh, those videos in the description. But yeah, 99 nights, 40 of which are here. So yeah. That's part of it. Uh, I don't know. Are you happy we did yeah. 40 here? Yeah, I like it. It's really nice. The food has been really good. Um, all of the services are amazing. No one is using the gym. We're literally in there alone. <clears throat> Every time we go down there, there's no one else in there, which is incredible because if you saw our video, um, about this hotel with the tour of our room and the property, you'll see the gym is absolutely incredible. Uh, let's see, Memphis, Tennessee living, talking about how much do we need to spend to earn the points? Mm. Yeah, we, he's talking about purchasing points too. We do uh, purchase a lot of IHG points because if you're ever booking an IHG hotel and paying the cash rate, you just shouldn't because Almost always, if the cash rate is like two hundred dollars, 
you can get it for $120 worth of points. So if you bought the points on the buy one, get one free sale, and you have the credit card. So mm -hmm. we bought 500,000 IHG points in December. Then we bought another, how many did we buy? Uh, same. 250,000, no, 300,000. No, 300,000. 300, 300, yeah. We bought 300,000 points a week ago. And they just today announced another <laughs> buy one, get one free sale. But it's only 90%, not 100%. So I don't think we're going to buy them. Because we just bought some. And we do still have quite a few in the account. Yeah. Although we'll use those. <laughs> so we did buy 800,000 IHG points to get those 90 nights. But that's what makes them almost always mm -hmm. the best deal. Because with the credit card, you get the fourth night free. And the points rate is cheaper than the cash rate and you can buy the points buy one get one free mm -hmm. so uh just yeah so but basically we mostly spend on our chase cards a lot we get a lot of chase cards for and that gets us our hyatt points mm -hmm. and then we also spend on our our marriott cards mm -hmm. uh too yeah. we don't spend it all on the hilton card because we just don't yeah we don't use the we just kind of left that one on lock mode. <laughs> yeah, Sandy M is saying we have the IHG and bought fifteen hundred dollars of points. Yeah, that's what we did too. Yep. Best credit card ever. Four fantastic vacations reserved on fifteen hundred dollars. Haven't had to pay taxes or hotel fees so far. We also had room upgrades. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, exactly that's so what we're great. Doing. Yeah, and you know that that really makes a big difference too. The getting the room upgrades has been really nice too, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's and it's you know, you get the the breakfast too, like the breakfast mm -hmm. here pretty amazing. Oh, it's a breakfast buffet. You could do two th you have two options for breakfast. You can go up to the executive lounge um which they give you access which we got access to and you can order breakfast there a la carte or you can go down and um eat in the uh all you can eat breakfast buffet which has so much stuff you know made to order eggs and all that kind of stuff uh eastern and western foods which is really good so we tend to lean towards doing that instead because <laughs> we can get you. a little bit of everything thank you jg we appreciate that super chat thank you thank JG. you very much <laughs> Uh, we were a little behind on our chat. I don't know when that came through, but thank you. <laughs> uh, we, we do appreciate that. It, it helps us out a lot. Uh, so let's see. Kevin's asking, do you ever stay in a bed and breakfast in your travels? He says he hasn't, but interested in trying. We have in the past. It's been quite a few years since we've done a bed and breakfast, but we used to do them all the time. As a matter of fact, one zillion years ago, <laughs> we mm. we thought maybe we wanted to own a bed and breakfast, but um, we wisened up <laughs> and we grew up and realized that was not going to be the best thing to do. Um, so yeah, but it's they're really beautiful to go to. Um, it just depends. I think they kind of um, they kind of lost their you know their their luster because they kind of got bowled over by the hotels and all the swanky Airbnbs and stuff like that. So I don't know. I mean, I know there's some obviously still exist, but I think more niche areas like in, you know, wine country and yeah. places like that. Yeah, that would be the, the place mm -hmm. to do it, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've done yeah. it, but not it's in been a, a long, long time. time. Yeah. <laughs> Any suggestions for slow travel only six months out of the year? John is asking. Oh, suggestions, I'm assuming, for places for to places go. For places to go, probably, yeah. Yeah, for slow travel, let's see. Uh, a great place um, would be South America. It's between Central and South America. Uh, or, obviously, like, Southeast Asia is really good, too. Um, yeah, those are two really good starting points for if you're doing six months out of the year because you have lots of countries you could hit if you want to go to a lot of different countries or you can just you know spend longer much longer chunks like two months at a time instead of one in some of the countries and get to hit you know two or three each time you do your six month stint yeah another place you could try is europe and you mm -hmm. do have to be a little strategic there mm -hmm. but countries like uh italy romania they're pretty cheap. They're cheaper than you'd think. And we were just talking today because we got that 
business card, <laughs> that Chase Inc. business card, and it is <laughs> going to come with 100,000 points. And there are two places in Europe that were pretty interested in staying at Hyatt's, which you can transfer those points to Hyatt and get basically 28 free nights. And there's a Hyatt that's that price in Antwerp, Belgium. And there's another one in Vienna, Austria. So those are two places that we, they're both called like mm -hmm. JDV hotels. Those are two places we're interested in and in maybe going. We've never been for a long period of time. So one thing you could do if you're doing six months is you could take a transatlantic cruise to Europe and then do some months in Europe and then stay six months because the transatlantics usually go from the U.S. to Europe in April. They're pretty cheap right now. Like I saw one April of 2024 for $1,200 for two people uh, for 12 nights. And then coming back, they come back in October or November. So how many months is that? Yeah, it's it's pretty close to six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you could basically get there and back almost for free because they're $1,200 cruises for 12 nights. That's more than paying for mm -hmm. your housing and your yeah. meals. Food, transportation, housing, entertainment, all in one. That's a steal for that price. Yeah. So what, you, what we were talking about doing is getting signing up for the credit card we got <laughs> and then paying for the cruises with the credit card, which would get you the sign-up bonus, and then taking the points and staying for a month for free. Uh, now, if we really wanted to get crazy, she could refer me to the card, too. I could do it. And then we'd have 200,000 points. <laughs> Plus, she would get a referral bonus of 40,000 more points. So then you could stay for two and a half months in a year for free. So we're not doing that yet, though, but maybe next year. We'll see. Uh, uh, let's see. Good afternoon. Uh, people just joined in the chat. Happy oh, to yeah, have welcome. you. Yeah, welcome. Welcome in. Yeah, we're a little bit earlier this week on this channel uh, because we didn't do the, the chat on our other channel because we just felt like we needed, to get to, we needed to get to bed earlier today. <laughs> uh, Sandra's asking, I wonder what would traveling around Asia and Europe be easier and cheaper as a solo person? What do you think about that? wonder, would, oh, oh, would it be Would it be easier, easier and cheaper as a solo person to travel oh, around? Oh, I Europe? think so. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's lots of great, I think, it's, it's, well, in both of them, really, but in Europe, I think is a great, is a great uh, option um, for solo traveling, uh, too. So, you know, I think you get some really good deals there. And then in Asia, too. Really, both of them. <laughs> there was a question that I that I mm. missed up here. It was from Believe. I, I remembered. Um, I just remembered. I missed your question. I read it. For some reason, I skipped over it. But uh, they're sorry. asking... <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> How much do you have to have invested? They said with Webull, which is where we did some investing, S&P 500 to start seeing a real profit. I just opened it with six hundred dollars, uh, so you will see profits. Mostly, they're going to come in over time. Like it's not like you're going to look at it. Although this month, if you invested like a month ago, you've probably already seen profits. We invested uh, quite a bit three months ago, and like the last three months, the market has gone straight up. So, <laughs> if you're investing like right now today. It may not do that for the next few months because it has really gone up uh, mm -hmm. high. Uh, so it may take a while. But really what what happens is you're going to average about 10% a year over the years. So you just have to be patient. You buy, you hold it. Say, I'm holding this for five to 10 years. And in five years from now, when you look back, you'll have made your profit. But it won't always be just like straight up. It'll be mm -hmm. It'll be like this, up and down. But then you'll 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 get there. So uh, whatever you invest, you can kind of figure you're going to make about ten percent a year on that for however long you keep it in there. As long as you keep it in long enough, mm -hmm. because in the long term that's what you're going to get. Yeah. But in the short term, you never know. Yeah. So it could be all over the place. That's why we yeah. don't really suggest short term. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brown Eyed Girl is saying we end up talking about the same things on both channels, so it's better to consolidate. <laughs> it's true. That is true. We do. That's a, we we were kind of talking about that. We were like, yeah. oh, it would be easier. We just did the one right now. So yeah, yeah uh, we did that uh, because. Today, we actually both took a nap for the first time in a long time. We rarely take a nap. I don't know why we're so tired, though. We're not doing anything. 
<laughs> but I, we were talking about, I think that like we're, we came here just to like slow down. I think once your body knows you've slowed down, then it really goes into slowdown mode. <laughs> and I think today it went into like shutdown mode, like just <laughs> get healthy mode because we, we have traveled around a lot. Like if you think back, we were kind of reminiscing. If you, if you don't know, we have a cruise channel. Like last summer, we did 45 nights in a row on cruises, and then we flew to Japan, and we did... Uh, we flew to Japan right after getting back on a cruise from Europe to the U.S. We left the exact same day we arrived back in the U.S., yeah. went to Japan, and then kind of, you know, just kind of went for it there, and then we've just kind of been... It, we've been in places for a long time, so like we spent seven weeks there in Japan, but... We did a lot of things while we were there. And it's the same thing. This is a good place because it kind of pulls us away from doing a lot of activities. Um, like even when we're in Bangkok, we go there a ton, but there's so much to do all the time that we're always doing something. Um, so this is really nice to just kind of not have a ton to do and kind of be almost forced to just like chill out. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like that Christmas every day feeling when you're, when you're traveling, it's like, so many cool things to do. You never want to not do it, but then you get so tired that you just have to, you have to, if you're going to travel long term, uh, you have to build in times like mm -hmm. this where you, yeah. Where you rest. Well, and you do expend a lot of energy just doing regular things. Like we were just saying, we were talking about some of the advantages and disadvantages of the hotel of hotel stays in just this short amount of time. And it's like even things like going to the grocery store constantly. I mean, we would go every few days and just things like that uh, just kind of takes up a lot of your your day and your time. Mm -hmm. uh, internationalist, we are heading to Japan in March. Mm -hmm, the yep. middle of March. So we're going to be there for Sakura, which is why That's we're going. Right. That Allie, is why we're going. Allie wanted to see that, right? Has long, long, long since been on my uh, wish list, and we finally get to go at the right time this time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we knew last time we weren't going to see it, but this time around, we, we're st we're going to try to max out our, <laughs> our, uh, our visa stay there. So we are going to stay there for a long time and move around to lots of different places this time. I mean, last time we moved around, this time we're going to move to some really cool ones. So uh, we're really looking forward to, to our trip this time around. Again, now we'll be more mentally prepared too for Japan because it's so different. Yeah, we were like the first week in Japan last year. <laughs> We were overwhelmed because we were we, dazed and confused. We uh, we had just gotten off the cruises mm -hmm. and our time zones were all messed up. And mm -hmm. Japan is probably one of the hardest countries to acclimate to because mm -hmm. uh, it's so everything is so different. And once you you figure it all out, it's like amazing. Uh, but it did take us a little while to yeah. figure everything out. <laughs> once we did. Because we were like dazed and confused uh -huh. from the from the flight. So uh, let's see. Virtual Hawaii is Japanese. Oh, awesome! Oh, hey. Well, That's we awesome. love your country. Love, love it there. Yeah, <laughs> we love it there. That's why we wanted to go even longer this time because <laughs> uh, we wanted to see yeah. more of it. Yeah, it is. It is awesome. We're we love the food too. That yeah. That's one thing we we didn't know was because like the Japanese restaurants in America. It's not the same. Are not really Japanese. So, <laughs> it's like Mexican restaurants in the U.S., right? They've been Americanized or whatever. I don't know what you yeah. call that. <laughs> yeah. Arigato. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we did learn a little bit of Japanese. Yeah, I got uh, my... I was actually just practicing my Japanese on, on Duolingo. But I did uh, download the Papa... Papago, is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called, Papago app, because that one's going to be better, I think, for translations um, when I'm in Japan, because I, a, a, I had some really, really bizarre translations on Google Translate on Japanese. I think Google Translate has a hard time um, with Asian languages um, because of the characters, and so I had a hard time picking out like uh, the right conditioner for my hair at the grocery store. It had like curse words in it. I was like, I don't think that's what 
is supposed to say on this. <laughs> so I did find out, I did some more research and I found out that Papago was gonna be better. So I downloaded that and I've got it ready to go when I get to Japan, it's gonna be better. <laughs> Yeah, uh, let's see. JX4 wants to know how old we are. How old we are? How old do we look? I'm just kidding. Um, don't I answer. Just, <laughs> I just, don't tell me how old you think I look. Uh, I just turned 50 in December and Rob just turned 51 also in December. Yeah, so. And we've been, let's see, how long have we been married? 20, what year is it? It's 2024. Long time. <laughs> so this will this year will be this August will be 29 years we were married. So next year is going to be our 30th anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to do we'll something. Have to do something exciting. Wait, we already we already have. Wait, no, this year we are planned. Where are we going to be on our anniversary this year? <laughs> this year. Oof, we're uh, planning out the whole year. Oh, we'll be in in Thailand. Back in yeah, Thailand. we'll be in yeah. Thailand. We'll be yeah, in Bangkok. Before that's right before we head back to the U.S. Good. That's a good place to be for your anniversary. <laughs> uh, let's see. Brenda is from Toledo, Ohio. Almost to Michigan. That's right. <laughs> uh, it is almost I to Michigan. I am from, I went to high school near Flint, so we drove through Toledo all the time. Recently retired during the Grand Loop in July. I'm assuming mm. she's there, she's talking about Amtrak. Uh, for the conversation, I gather H IHG and Chase Sapphire Rewards seem to be good options. Those are great options for Amtrak. Also, Marriott is not a bad option because depending on where you're going, a lot of the stations have Marriott's close to the uh, close to the train station. So Marriott is also good for if you're doing a lot of Amtrak travel. Mm -hmm. But IHG is great too. And the Chase one is good, but you, you'll have to transfer those to Hyatt. Mm -hmm. So you really can't go wrong with any of those. Uh, how long have we been together, Brown Eyed Girl wants to know. Let's see. Oh, not just, oh, like all together, together. We, um, we I think were 30, three years before we got two married. Two years, is that right? Yeah, that'd be 32 -ish. Yeah, almost 32 years. So, uh, yeah. 32 <laughs> years. That's a long time. Yeah, and we, our son, let's see. Oh, our son's birthday is this Friday. He's this. That's our oldest child. He is going to be 24. 26. Six. I want to say 25, but he's going to be 26. I don't even know how that's possible that my small, tiny baby child boy is 26, but he's going to be 26. I asked him the other day, I said, how is it possible you're going to be 26? He's like, well, he said, you're 50, so <laughs> <laughs> he's a comedian, like uh, and literally a comedian. So he's always says stuff like that to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we met in college, actually. College, uh, mm -hmm. my, my freshman year. My sophomore year, college, her freshman. Met in college, met in school uh, <laughs> in Tennessee. Yep, college sweet peas, sweet So it was like <laughs> I was from Michigan and she was from Florida. <laughs> And we both went to school in Tennessee, crazy enough. Kind so, of in the middle. Right in the middle. So, yeah, so it was like for spring break, we would either drive to Michigan or to Florida, depending on if we wanted to deal with snow or go to the beach. <laughs> so, <laughs> why did we ever, like, sometimes for Christmas break, we would go to Michigan. Like, why? Yeah. Why did we do that? I don't know. Uh, I think because you wanted to ski, even though probably. I had never <laughs> been skiing in my whole life. <laughs> Should, had you ever seen snow? <laughs> Yeah, I was born in New York City. Oh, yeah. Wow, but you were young. But I didn't grow up there, but I had seen snow, but not like that much. And so I was, of course, Rob was shushing all over the place around me at the ski place when we when we went for the first time. He was like, what? What do you mean you don't know how to ski? I was like, I don't know how to ski. I've never been skiing. I'm from Florida. <laughs> and his dad, tried, his, his dad was grace, <laughs> gracious enough to actually take the time to teach me, which is... And, uh, you know, a feat in of itself. He's uh, He was incredibly patient with me. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Elle says, I need to get on Marriott Hilton to see how I can boost my points and get Ooh, points yeah. for IHG. Yeah. Yeah. IHG, thankfully, you can buy them cheaply. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. that's how we boost them. Cause we yeah, have, they do have the sale right now. Not as good as the one they had before, but... We have bought a lot of points um mm -hmm. let's see oh well 
happy anniversary, I think you're saying, John, uh, 43rd. Wow. Ooh, on Groundhog Day. <laughs> Ahead of us. Happy anniversary, uh, 43. Retired 2019 wants to know, what's the name of your cruise YouTube channel? We were not original, so... Shocking. It's just uh, Grounded Life Cruises. <laughs> <laughs> so, Grounded Life Cruises. <laughs> so, yeah. So, it's Grounded Life. We have Grounded Life Travel. That's the one. That's the biggest channel. It's mostly to do with trains. Uh, and our train travels. Train travel. Ground mostly Life. in the U.S., but there's some other travels in Asia and in Europe as well. Then we have uh, this one, Ground Life Finances. Then we have Ground Life Cruises. Then we have Travel Asia with Ali. Travel Thailand with Ali. And then our daughter's channel is just her name, I think. It's just Alexa, Alexa Marmion. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then we also, if you want to go really way in the weeds, we have a modeling channel, <laughs> which is what we used to do in Atlanta called MGM Modeling. You go see us in action like five years ago. Uh, <laughs> Doing our, our work. You're going down a real rabbit hole. You if will you be do that. down the rabbit hole with that, though. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. Sometimes I go back and watch those. Uh, uh, SBK Pilot is wanting to know do they have these IHG sales often? They do, actually, because they did one in December and we bought 500,000 points. And then they did one at the end of January and it ended February 2nd. And we bought another, I think it was 300,000 300, points. Mm -hmm. And then today I just read they did it again. So it's open <laughs> right now. So it's, what is it, February 4th? It's February 4th. Two days. It ended February 2nd. <laughs> they started another one on February They're like, 4th. let's do another sale. Yeah, now. I think they must do well. And that's why they keep doing them because people get excited. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you, this one is like only 90%. It's still not bad. If you've missed out, it's probably worth getting them. Yeah. But uh, if if you're planning travel like soon ish, then I would I would just go ahead and get them. Yeah. But if if you're not planning to travel till like in the fall, then I would wait maybe another couple months to see if they change it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Brana girl from Edmonton knows all about snow. We did. <laughs> yeah, that's the coolest we've ever been in Edmonton. <laughs> it, it was so cool though because they. They, I don't know if you've ever seen that in Edmonton, they made like a a slide out of ice. It was pretty tall, too. It was about <laughs> 20 feet tall, maybe. Um, on one of our train videos, when we were in Edmonton, mm -hmm. on the Canadian video, maybe not the Canadian video, but the travel train travel across Canada, mm -hmm. you can see it in that video where it's like, yeah, just they just made a huge <laughs> slide. Yeah, that it was, was pretty cool. cool. It was like a whole like snow maze too outside. It was a really cool yeah. thing to do. It was fun. It was very cold, but it, oh, and they had like an outdoor hockey rink. Alexa got to play hockey with us. Yeah. Well, with you because I just watched because I knew I was gonna fall down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Portia's asking which cruise line is the best to see Hawaiian Islands. Um, I don't think it matters too much which line you go on. It just matters. I, I would just take careful look of the ports that each ship is going to go to mm. and the times. Because I think the big thing in Hawaii, because we went to Hawaii once for, or twice, twice for a week. Mm -hmm. And it's it's not like, like from the port, it's not super close to get to everything. So if your ship is only going to be there from like 7 a.m. to 2 you're not going to get to go hike the volcano. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to have a ship that's going to be there like you know, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Get a full day and you can go do some of the bigger, better stuff. Because exactly. some of the stuff is not super, super close. Yeah, it's, but it's not close. Amazing things there. Uh, yeah, some real cool things. That was where Allie didn't do it because some of you know she's afraid of heights, but... <laughs> I went up in the, the, I wanted to go in a helicopter and I wanted to go in the one, she already wasn't going to go in the helicopter, but I wanted to go in one that didn't have any doors on it. So, because I wanted to take pictures out of the helicopter with no reflections. So I did that in Hawaii. Uh, it was totally worth it. But right when we took off, it started raining. <laughs> so, but then they flew around the rain. I waited and then we drove together um, and I, I parked at the little airport heliport area there 
And he was like, are you sure you don't want to go? I was like, I took one look at the helicopter. I was like, absolutely, I do not want to go. So I had a book with me and I sat in the car and read until he came back. But he came back with like the biggest smile you could possibly imagine on his face. You can kind of see it now. Um, <laughs> and he was pretty excited that he got to do that. Yeah. I mean, you know, take the pictures, hanging out of the helicopter with his camera. I it mean, wasn't that's a photographer's bad. dream. It wasn't took some bad. gorgeous pictures, though. Yeah, they, they were some of my favorites yeah. for many years. That was like yeah. 20 years ago. Yeah. Uh, Panama Pippi. I live in Maine. You don't know snow until you stay in winter here. <laughs> Five feet of snow is not uncommon. Yikes. Yeah. 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 We went to Maine, but it was definitely not in winter. It was, it was the, beautiful, though, when we were there. It was in the summer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it was fine, Brown Eyed Girl. The helicopter ran. <laughs> Without had, the door. <laughs> they had a seatbelt. So. I wanted nothing to do with it. I was like, I don't even want to watch you take off in that thing. I'm like... Just make sure you're strapped in. Make sure you're holding on. When he's taking pictures, the problem is he doesn't pay attention to his surroundings when he's taking pictures. He just is concentrated on, you know, focusing on taking the picture. And so that's why I'm usually there is to try to keep him from harming himself. Most of the time what happens, though, is he ends up in a puddle of water or sits down in a giant puddle of water, doesn't even realize it until he stands up. This happened in Ireland. He came, he hiked down into this thing and I was like, I'm not going all the way down there because it was really uh, steep coming back up. And so I said, I'll just wait for you up here. And then he got back up and I was like, why are your pants so wet? What happened? <laughs> like the entire back of his pants were completely soaked. I was like, what happened? He's like, I don't know. I think I sat in a puddle. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. you think you sat in a puddle you don't know what happened down there did you black out <laughs> but he just he gets into this zone when he's taking pictures same thing another place in ireland we were taking pictures somewhere and i was like the water's coming up the water's coming up he didn't realize it was the tide was coming in and it was getting closer and closer and i had to yank him back because his everything was gonna get wet and you did that in iceland too yeah I went there's so the, many stories i went into guys. the water in iceland yeah I, I might write a book the photographer's wife yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see we could do a few more here before bed uh deborah is asking i want to circle the u.s on amtrak spending Ooh. a night or two in some major cities is it best to get the Amtrak credit card or a hotel credit card? You, probably best to get both if you can. But if, I, if you're going to do Amtrak and you're only going to get one card, probably get the Amtrak card. Mm -hmm. But I would also get either the Marriott or the IHG probably with it. Uh, if you can space that out and get the sign-up bonus for both, I would do it because that makes for a pretty cheap trip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On, on Amtrak. Uh, Monica's asking, any suggestions for hotels in Tokyo? Would like to stay two days before my cruise at the beginning of September. Oh, yeah. We just did hotel research for Tokyo. So there's a couple areas we really like. Um, Shinjuku, Shibuya, and Akihabara, and Ginza. And That's Ginza. the four areas mm -hmm. that we really like. And... Depending on your budget, like we're we're going we're going to be in the Messim M E S M, which is a Marriott in uh, Ginza. It's supposed to be really nice, <laughs> but it's pretty expensive. So we we used our free Marriott nights there. Now, if you're trying to go on a budget, we have stayed like the cheapest, really nice hotel in Tokyo we found is called I C I. And a new word, U-N-O, U-E-N-O. And then what's the next word? Okama. Oh, Okachimachi. Okachimachi. <laughs> Which we're not going to spell. <laughs> but I do have a video on that hotel on Travel Asia with Allie. Um, give you a whole tour of the room and kind of talk about what we paid and everything like that. Yeah, kind of show you one of the rooms. I think we just booked that for two we months did. from now. And mm -hmm. it was like $60 a night. Yeah. Crazy good, and from there you can walk to Akihabara, which is great because that's a great area. So mm -hmm. if you're looking for a budget hotel, that's the best one we found. If you're looking for more high end, maybe mm -hmm. if you're only just staying two nights, maybe you want something yeah more. 
Then you'll want to stay more towards like Ginza or like Rapangi Hills or someplace like that. Yeah. So I say they'd buy your book. <laughs> 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 uh what's your the, there is a she does she when we used to do pictures you still have that instagram account oh yes the she, photog wife she does <laughs> is have, on instagram yeah. i did i would for for a long time i did um i would take pictures um behind his back while he was taking pictures and for a while he had no idea i was doing it and then one day he caught me doing it he was like what are you doing and i was like oh i'm just making fun of you behind your back he was like what <laughs> <laughs> he was like what are you talking about i was like i've literally been doing this for years um so i showed him some of the pictures i just do it for fun you know like me waiting you know for him to take pictures because he takes literally forever um he'll say oh i'm almost done and that usually means it's going to be about another 30 45 minutes uh, last one means he's got 10 more at least 10 more shots in him um and then until he's put the camera in the bag then i don't believe anything he says about <laughs> being done with taking pictures <laughs> yeah so if you want to check that out <laughs> There's some funny ones on there. Yeah, there are some funny uh, ones. Hey, Robert. <laughs> glad to have you here. Uh, John's asking about getting a card as a Canadian. I don't know mm. how you could do that. Uh, there are some fellow Canadians in here. Maybe you can answer, John, about getting a Chase card. Can you get, yeah. a, can you get a Chase mm. card if you're Canadian? I don't know of any way you can. I don't know. I don't. I really don't think so. I think the only one you can do is um, American If Express. I were Canadian, I would get the Aeroplan card for sure. Yeah. But I don't know how you can get the other ones. Yeah, that's a bummer because there's so, so many great point deals. Yeah. Sign up bonuses. Yeah. Nathaniel, yes, we've been in New Orleans many times. Yes. Uh, on several Amtrak trains. That's right. So. Yeah. Uh, we are, it is almost 1 a.m., so we are going to get to bed. <laughs> but uh, just want to say thanks to everyone for hopping on here. And uh, great to talk to you, as always. Yeah. We, uh, everything that we mentioned, there's probably a link to it. I put a ton of links in the description to different videos that you might <laughs> find, like, you know, relevant to this conversation mm -hmm. are in there, too. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Check those out if you need anything. Yeah. The credit cards are down there. Uh, thanks, Robert. Appreciate that. Uh, thank you, Sandy. Appreciate that as well. We uh, we love hanging out with you guys, <laughs> but now it's time for bed. That's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> although, put my PJs on. <laughs> we did take a nap today. So. <clears throat> That's right, but I'm still tired. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> we will, let's see. Yeah, we'll see you guys next week um yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, monica has a question here oh, so uh, i wanted to address this because it's a good question she says do you have an email address we could ask oh. some more questions our email does not work we cannot <laughs> respond so we get emails but when we respond they bounce back to us so we're trying so, to fix the problem trying to fix that <laughs> but so the best thing is if you comment this is just like in not insider information but if you want to if you want to get a response if you comment on this channel ground and life finances that's the one that we're looking at the comments for right now the most because the ground and life travel one we get so many comments on there that i literally can't keep up we with can't them. keep up with them because it's just the two of us doing all of this <laughs> so if you if you have like a like a pressing question on this stuff ask it on the ground and life finances channel that's the easiest way that's the that's the surest way that we'll likely see it. We won't and can answer back. We want to for sure see it, but we until <laughs> we figure that's out the our best email chance. problem. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's what we that's the best place to get hold of us. So uh, yeah. Until then, we will see you guys next week. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great day.